given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. There go Tarot, T, 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 T. And tonight, this morning, Taurus, it's your turn for your waning gibbous moon reading, people. A quick 10 minute reading with me, checking up on your energies, tapping into that moon power, people. Let's get to that reading, family. Yes. Let's get to your reading, family, because I want to keep it short and sweet, people. You know me, just jumping on here to encourage you lot. It's always about the upliftment, people, and the encouraging. That's what we're about, positive vibes over here. So let's tap into the moon energy for you. So what better than to start with the moon, the queen of the moon, or the queen of the oracle decks, I'm so. But she's something to do with the moon. And it's perfect to start with her. So I will shuffle them again because I've separated them. There was part of the three in one. As you can see, here's the second part. And the third part is sleeping in its bed. On the bottom of the deck, shit then. Shit then. Are you all that? Are you standing in your power now? About fucking time, Taurus. I see that you've taken back your power. A lot of you snatched it back. Snatched it back from the enemy. That enemy that was trying to kill your life, kill your spirit, kill your dreams. I see you like standing now. Ascended. Ascending. Different parts of your process. Of your journey. But I see a lot of you now are either on your way to finding or have found your divine life purpose. Ascended masters. I see you have knowledge now. Your crown chakra is open. You are using your third eye to see yourself out of your situation, my people. Gang, gang. I can feel the power, literally. This card is the epiphany of Taurus right now in October. Powerful. You see, MC Hammer, you can't touch this. That's the fuck what you are going to be doing coming into October. Tap into this moon power, people. Don't let no one tell you who the fuck you are or who you ain't. What you can and can't do. I'm here to tell you. You are powerful. Fearfully and wonderfully made. By your creator. And for those of you that are doing the healing and self work. And are going through your ascension process. My God. My fucking God. I feel sorry for the enemy. The enemy could be whoever it is to you. Those spirits that's been trying to block and stop you since the time you climbed out your mother's womb. Or it could be those friends down the road that you grew up from school. Or it could be those family members. Or it could be your partner secretly hating on you, feeling that you're spending too much time on your dreams, on your goals, and not enough of them. But I see you standing in your power and just knowing who the fuck you are. This speaks to me of self-love, knowing your worth. I just see that you're a, you're just a, you have a life experience full of knowledge. To share with others. I literally hear ascended masters. At the pinnacle of your career. I see promotions. Someone being lifted up. Shown to the public. Shown to the world for the first time. I see someone rising to the top. I see a phoenix rising, being stripped away every day, 
having to die every day, just like the phoenix. Every day something's dying. The ego, friends, belief systems, old thought patterns. Emerging is a powerful being. And look, isn't the full moon in three days? Tap the fuck in, my G's. Let's shuffle the cards and see what they want to say for you. But I saw it's dreams. So a lot of you, two messages. A lot of you have been going through a lot of hardship. Your storms still pushing. Walking, pushing, running, kicking through, fighting through. Do you see how they're trying to tap my voice? Those are the spirits that I speak about. That try to stop your blessings. Try to stop you from doing that very thing you was ordained to do. But you can't give up and you can't stop. you got to snatch back your power. Because the enemy comes to what? Kill. Do you see the wax on my nails? Kill, steal and destroy. Your soul. Your spirit. And eventually your life. So this card is calling for Taurus to stand. Because you are powerful. And in the month of October. We pray peace in your life. Peace to your storms. Do you see what it says? Come on, what does it say, people? You can't make this shit up. Do you know what moon it is? The gibbous waning, the gibbous waning or waxing moon. Do you see? A cycle. I told you I saw extremes. A cycle of extreme. Extreme storms, extreme fighting, extreme adversity, and extreme trauma is coming or has come to an end. And they're bringing peace back into your life, into your home, into your heart, mind, and soul, Taurus. But I see that you've done the work. You brought them in. You ushered in the spirits, your ancestors and God and the universe to come and heal you and your situation and your family. I see your family being made whole. Because it's not just you that's hurting. So are your children, so are your family. As you heal, I see healing for your home. I see peace for your children's minds. No longer do they worry about mum or dad or tomorrow. I see peace. I love it, Taurus. I fucking love it. I love it. And this is because you, you did it. You were determined. Some of those things was here to break you, but you took it and you built it, your resilience, and you came back. Sure, some of you was knocked down. Some of you for years, but you still got up. You set your intentions. Your will is strong. You're fighters. You're the bull. You're headstrong. And there you are. Third eye open on your situation. Mask off. Showing them who you really are. Standing in your power. Keeping your secrets guarded now. Knowing that even those close to you can turn. Not because they hate you. Because they're threatened by your power. They're threatened by your success. Or the success that's coming to you. So don't think that some of these people that's close to you are hating on you. They're threatened by you. You are powerful beings. You exude, exude power. You walk into a room and the talking stops. Attention comes onto you. There's just something about you, Taurus. It's 
seen your eyes, seen the way you walk, the way you smile, the way you talk. <laughs> what does it say, my G's? Come on. In the comment box, right? Because I'm telling you, all that we want from you, me and your spirit team, because they're around me, buzzing in my ears right now. You see that? That's all we require from you. Just the size of a mustard seed. Okay? Because I've been sent here. I never understood it. I was at every single birth. Everyone said, Diana, be a midwife. But I wanted to be. But the minute I had a chance, I didn't want to do it. But now I understand, people, what God was setting me up to do. Sure, I am a midwife, but not in this natural world. I'm here to give birth to your dreams, to your goals, to your aspirations. I'm here to let you know that it's okay to dream again and that you can dream again. You're not foolish for doing it. You can achieve those things that you dream. I'm here to show you a shortcut to your dreams. Cut out the traumas, the abuse, Help you to navigate your ways onto the positive side of life. Letting the light into your situation. Because a lot of you are pregnant. Pregnant in the spiritual sense. So much ideas. But someone shot you down. Someone didn't believe in you. And now here you are not believing in yourself. But now here we are. Together again. You pregnant. And me ready for you to push. I know it hurts for some of you right now, but I keep telling you, you're crowning. You're nearly there, my Gs. You're nearly, nearly there. Just like your 10 minutes is almost up. I'm going to switch it over because as you can see, my voice is really being attacked. Let me sip my drink a minute. It's a mad thing. It's a mad thing. The bottom of the deck with the balsamic moon. There's a call for healing on a Taurus nation. This is the phoenix rising, dying every day. Heal, put you first, you matter. Without you, there's no us. We're depending on you. I told you, you lot are game changers in this team. Game changers. And for whoever's going through legal battles or something that's troubling your spirit, look what they're saying to you. Absolutely nothing's going to harm you and come from your situation. Stop stressing, people. Stop fucking stressing, please. What did I tell you? Oh, my God. Show them. Show them, my Gs. That's all you need to do to be successful. Nothing else. And meditate upon them. Rest and rejuvenate yourself. Self-care. This is where your answers come. This is how you get close to God and Spirit. And talk to your ancestors. Because this is what is being ushered in for you. And look what the fuck is on the bottom of the deck. Huh? The new moon in who? In who? In you, Taurus gang gang. I love you lot. This is your girl D Virgo Tarot. Two, 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 two. Sending you love, love, and light. Tap the fucking. We gonna play now. Ready for the show. I'm about to take down. You already know. Get the fuck out of my face now. Yeah, you got